I want to do the trip justice, but I can't find the language to perfectly describe a trip that has opened up my mind and cleared it out. A trip that has allowed me to be okay saying goodbye to high school. A trip that has taken all the crazy, disjointed pieces of the last few years and my time at Chadwick and has molded them into one vital and necessary stepping stone into my next adventure. Every year, Chadwick seniors participate in a 21-day expedition-style trek near the Sequoia National Forest. Participating seniors are organized into groups of 10 with two to three instructors per group. Students carry all of their supplies, including food and clothing, in their packs with one resupply five to eight days into the trip. An expedition of this length requires lots of preparation. Planning out pretty intricately the menu for the whole course so that uh, you know, you're planned out and you're saving things correctly and uh, have enough food on that last day just as much as you do on that first day. But I just wanted to take a minute to get everybody together just to put this trip into some sort of context. I'm excited, and definitely scared, yeah. but excited. Uh, I'm pretty stoked right now. Um, I think I'm most nervous for the solo because I don't know what to do with myself for three days. Every single one of these kids is ready to go. You know, Chadwick has prepared them for this since they arrived and, um, and they are ready. There were days where my hands were purple, and like they had that feeling where it's, they're so cold, they're stinging and hot. My blisters are bothering me a little bit, but um, I'm used to it. And we have like this beautiful creek that we're hiking nearby, and it's all downhill, so it's pretty good. We bring, we bring food as a group and then each day we have different cooks that prepare our meals and today we are cooking lentils and couscous. I think that the whole thing about the trip is being able to go with your friends and experience this with your friends and connect on a different level with your friends than you have because you're experiencing the good, time. the bad, the, and yeah, I don't think they would go if it was us. On the second to last day, the groups meet at Kennedy Meadows Campground. Many of these students have not seen each other for nearly three weeks. I'm really glad that there's course end before we come back to Chadwick because it would honestly just be way too overwhelming to see everyone. To celebrate, they run six miles. After the run, they organize their gear, clean utensils, pack the goods, and prepare for the return home. I think it's seen by a lot of people as a, as a backpacking trip. And I think it's my job to let people know it's something much, much more than that. Even if you offered me a like, airlift out in the middle of it, I couldn't do that. Like, you gotta come back victorious, come back like having accomplished it. You can't quit in the middle. We have to finish as a group. Yeah. Students can look back on this senior trip, on this experience, and say, well, and I've heard this from alums, you know, they'll say, well, I remember back to the trip that I didn't think I could do it, but I did. And they draw on that, that resolve, that determination, that grit, that will, uh, whatever you want to call it, that they found inside themselves. and they'll use it in, in other areas of their lives. They always come back with such great stories, so I'm, we're looking forward to hearing the stories that she has for us. The first person I saw was my mom, and I immediately ran to her and like, gave her a huge hug. I think one thing that I can definitely pinpoint is that I'm not as scared to go to college now. Um, because I went 20 days without even talking to my parents, or. Um, some of my friends and everything and now I think I can go away to school and not be so worried because you know, I did that alone I think I can do college. I just think that it's a really precious experience that I know I'll appreciate um, for the rest of my life. <laughs> I, I definitely feel like I changed as a person because of the trip.
I started playing when I was about seven and a half. 